Hey y'all, it's Lexi. And today, 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 we gonna be telling a little story time, a little story time about my Lizzie life. Really, really about my life. So, the reason I, um, y'all probably gonna like, once I tell the story time, y'all gonna be listening like, why would she tell this shit? And it's because that I just want to give my raw, real life because I don't feel like nobody be listening to me and nobody be hearing me and nobody be feeling me and nobody be, like, getting where I'm coming from exactly from my side and my side of the story and how I'm looking at it. And nobody never gave a fuck about that side. So, here I am. And more to come because this is just the beginning of opening up my throat chakra so if you know you know period so where do i start i'm gonna make this in part so stay tuned oh and also Um, I'm gonna blizzy, smoking a blizzy, yeah. Um, okay, so where do I start? Hey, y'all, I'm probably gonna be doing hella jump cuts, it's days later, but this happened September 4th, it was yesterday from when I recorded this. I know, oh my god, so recent, <laughs> yeah, so. Y'all can see it all on me, but the face still cute though. Like you can see the stress all on me, but oh, I okay. Well, actually, hmm. Okay, well no, I'm gonna start it from there. Like it's it's so hard telling this story because it was like great day. So <laughs> I was staying with some family members, a family member couple, no names, no. Y'all know none of that, but y'all know who you is if you watch this video, and it is what it is, because I live with, and, um, temporarily visiting, or whatever, and me and this specific family member, we don't really, um, get along, and it's not like that, it's more so like, um, we had a situation in the past, and that kind of, like, made me look at that person different. Do I hear a story time? It's just like I, I would prefer to stay as far away as possible. So I was bar barely like over there, you know, for these past few days that she's been there. It just been, you know, vibes, you know, been kind of off. I haven't been there as much. I just, you know, trying to not been there. I've been busting moves, door dashing, doing everything, you know, just everything and not be there. And I had a little boo thing or whatever that I was mean to me. And yeah. So morning woke up chilling um i woke up a little late or i had a little late start to my day because i forgot i had a client or whatever so i had a client and his appointment was at dang my phone specific family members she's sitting on the living room couch and the other family member we gonna name the family member that I'm not really cool with, well, she don't like me. She don't like me. Let's clarify that. I'm, I'm just, blah, 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 blah. she don't like me. She has a problem with me, period. So, yeah. E for evil. And the other one, hmm, E2. <laughs> so, E and E2. And the e E2 got a reason, but <laughs> inside joke. E2 is in the room, and it's like far back of the house or whatever. And I'm in the kitchen. Well, I'm like standing in the door frame. The door is in the kitchen or whatever. So, and this is some stairs that um, the room that I was um, lashing out of, doing my hair and stuff out of, that's where um, it's downstairs in the downstairs basement. So, um, I'm standing with the door open, waiting on my client. Speak to him, I said, dang, you ain't tell me I have to do a, um, do a whole new retwist. And he, like, chuckled it off, telling him where to go. She says, did you ask E2 if you could have your boyfriend over? 
and I just ignored it because one, this is not my boyfriend, and two, me and E2, she never told me not once, like, you have to tell me, let me know, ask me before you have any client over here. It was never that. I was told that I can have clients, but it had to be very minimal. So let's just put that out there. Very minimal clients, right? Mind you, she's been, she she doesn't live here. This is not her home. She's visiting. She's an in-home babysitter. Let me tell you. I ignore her and <laughs> she starts to get mad and starts to call me on my name. She said, but do, do you know, do, I know you ain't ignoring me. You just, you just hear what I say. Did you ask E2? Yelling at the top of her lungs. Did you ask E2 if you can have your boyfriend over? I think I said, this is not your house. She said something back and I said, that's not your business. I know, I know I said that. I know I said that and that pissed her off even more. Hey y'all, my bad if that was confusing. So the stairs, the couch and the front door is like, the door is not like far from each other. So like this all happened while I'm walking my client downstairs. So when she first asked me, I ignore her. When she kept badgering me and asking me again, I said, this is not your house. And when she kept badgering me and asking me again, I said, this is not your business all in like a dry tone like flat she comes downstairs yelling provoke okay she comes downstairs screaming at my client saying get the fuck up get the fuck up before i touch you get the fuck up before i touch you yelling talking about some little boy you need to get the fuck up you need to get the fuck up you need to get up out of here ain't nobody asked you to be over here ain't nobody told you to come over here you need to get out you need to get out right now and i'm i'm yelling at her like this is not your house this is not your house this is not your house if she wanted him to leave she would tell him to leave this is not your house this is not your house. I sit down, begin to do his hair, and I was just like, my bad, ignore her, yada, yada. And I'm trying to do the same thing. Mind you, like, I am little. this is a client. She clearly sees that this is not my boyfriend, not nothing now. This is literally a client. Now you're trying to prevent me from getting money, and I didn't do anything but bring a client to the house like I normally do. Yeah, and I also feel like she did not want to be wrong. Like, she wanted me to be the bad character, like, me to be, like, in the wrong, like, after she realized, like, she was running, that wasn't the client, she just hyped the situation up more instead of being like, okay, cool, let me go about my day. Like, I'm not bothering you. Like, I'm down, I'm downstairs, and she was sitting upstairs in the living room. Like, we're in two different spaces, so. Mm. And this is not your first time seeing a client over here. Now it's just the male. Y'all hear, y'all hearing how this sound, right? So... Because I've had a lash clients over there while she was there this week, previous this week. Mm. Okay. So, um, she did not leave until E2 came running down to bring her back upstairs. She stayed down there the whole time, badgering us until I started crying. That's how I feel. Because I was upset and I can't work in those conditions. She and he literally like so like mind you my client he's not supposed to even be this he like like I, I and I so I'm so sorry to him like and I appreciate him for being you know very very adult about this situation and um not judging me and stuff or whatever for going to that because this is Milwaukee obviously this is Milwaukee he like so who house this is I said I pointed to who house this is I'm like this is her house this is her house. And he was like, she's not telling me to leave. So he is getting madder. He is getting madder. He is getting so, so ma much madder. I can't really hear what D is saying, but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's something to defuse the situation. Uh, she comes down running on the phone with D and is screaming and screaming and screaming. So um, E2 grabs her, takes her upstairs, yada, yada, yada. I'm crying now because one, you just hindered me from my money. Two, my client just had to get involved and see this embarrassing ass shit. Three, I just feel extremely disrespected because I literally am not doing anything but doing what I normally do, Ex existing how I normally exist, right? I left, I'm crying, now we arguing and stuff. Hey, y'all know y'all can barely see me and start, but what I said to her when I was leaving, I was like, thank you for doing that, little mama. You just turned me up a whole bunch. And she was, and then I like... I clearly was like leaving because I had my purse on and my keys in my hand and stuff. And she's like, go ahead and leave. Go ahead and leave. Like, E was provoking it. Like, go ahead and leave. Go ahead and leave. Like, kind of making me mad. Like, 
I gotta leave on some shit. You know what I mean? Like intentionally making me mad. Um, I'm calling her oh miserable, petty, bitter, all of that because you dad just did all of that for nothing. And this is a client. And E2 gonna come come up to me talking about something. Why didn't you just do it? Why did you do it? I said, you clearly see I'm crying. I'm emotional. I can't work like that. That's weird. That's weird. So and then I just left. I said, I'm just finna. I'm, I literally hit him. I'm just finna hit it. I'm just finna hit it. Right? <laughs> because I'm pissed. Like anybody who's pissed just finna leave because one, I don't have to be here. Two, I don't have to be here. Like not at this moment. Not not that I have a car. Like I don't have to be here right now. Like okay i'm crying i'm releasing all of this energy because it's like i don't deserve this like this shit is weird i don't deserve this weird things happening to me okay. what was it yesterday? yes okay. no, that was exactly okay. Okay. so boom, yesterday um yesterday night so yeah that night i um, come home like, i wake up i don't know what i did oh. Oh, okay okay let me run it back a little bit so as soon as that situation happened out of the family if i can um rent a room out of their house basically and she said me yes and that's what i'm doing right now currently so boom i have a whole room that i can decorate set up do everything me because this is my family i know she's not gonna mind because she's not using a room obviously because i'm paying to rent it out boom that's what i was doing yesterday okay 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 boom 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 i'm trying to figure out what i did yesterday so yesterday i had a lash client or whatever she book last a minute love it love it love it love the show can't stop the show ever so yeah you stopped that client but he's still gonna come back to me tomorrow and i had a client yesterday that book last minute so you didn't stop no money really but that's just how god worked for me but okay after that situation happened everybody had left the house they was gone for a few hours i'm gonna assume but i wasn't there so i don't know when that little debacle happened she trying to um Block my shine. Block my shine. It's been rolled. My bad. I just been here here. Talking. Because my life is nuts. I grabbed all my stuff. And I set up my lash bed. Sorry. For Better. So... Also, another disclaimer, none of this is for sympathy. Your girl can cry on her own. I, listen, the saying is, I could do bad by myself. None of this is for sympathy. This is clearly to show my life and show how people be doing me. And, yeah. And that you're not the only one. That If you're going through this too, bro, you're not the only one. Because I've heard somebody recently, like a guy, my little boot thing I was talking to, he have very... Re like similar story resentment stories like very similar so you're not the only one out here <sighs> look into the camera eye you're not the only one We're, it's, it's hard out here for a pimp for real it's hard out here for a chosen one let, let, let's get it right it's hard out here for a chosen one period immediately <laughs> Immediately after, um, I went to go grab all of my la my lash, nail, hair stuff, all of that. We got into that little um, client situation. <laughs> I immediately came here to ask my family member, could I um, rent out the room? She said yes. I rushed back to my old crib. I came back here, start setting up, start organizing. So, right here, I am still freaking confused on my timeline y'all because i think like trauma would do it to you like i think my brain was in such disbelief that this had all happened in one day like i literally like all of this happened in one day so like me going to sleep waking up whole new environment i feel like it was like i couldn't believe it was all one day Okay, y'all. 
I'm totally tripping. This all happened in one freaking day. That's why I'm so discombobulated because I'm reading the text messages of my client and this all happened in one day. So, boom, yesterday. Yesterday was a shit show that, like, I don't even know. I've been going on for damn near 30 minutes and this all happened yesterday. Okay, so where did I leave off at now that I figured out this all happened in one day? <laughs> Client situation happened. I um got a new location. When I happened, okay, th this why I was forgetting why it was all one day because it was like it was weird how it happened. Okay, so because it's only Tuesday and I had my little shoe thing Sunday, so that means it happened all one day because it's only Tuesday type thing. Like that's how I figured out it was one day. After I finished my client at my new location, I went back home. So that night. Uh, I come home, I take a shower, I get dressed, and I'm finna head out to DoorDash. Yes, we'll get a dress for my shower. I go to the microwave. I left with a plate or whatever from my people. And... My bad, y'all. This is where I get a little more emotional because this just happened last night stayed about the microwave put my shrimp and veggies in there for like a minute and a half and then i put well i put my rice in the bowl to put sugar on it because they don't i'm from the south baby i put sugar on my rice we need to so i put it in the bowl i put some sugar on it and i was gonna heat that up next and put it back on the plate boom because <laughs> i'm not finna explain why even though i did but made it quick um so I did that so while I waited on my um shrimp and veggies to cook I decided to play like that remix and you know boom I'm just it's it's not loud but it's like mind you the um E is sitting on the in the living room still so it's not loud but it's loud enough type thing like it's mid loud so like ignorable but if you didn't want to ignore it you wasn't gonna ignore it type type loud i'm um singing it boom 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 my favorite part she said oh i got that shit on walk away video ass Ooh, i got that shit on my nigga in the cut video making video plays ass 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 how long my nigga in the cut making plays on this iphone and now I'm bring shit to the table but i jt know what she did when she did that Added enough crumbs, you know. So soon as I finish, like y'all, this plan in my head. Like I'm just telling the story how it goes. So soon as I finish the bar, my nigga in the cut making plays on his iPhone, and I start laughing or whatever. And she gonna say, "Can you turn your music off?" And I don't know if it's like me. But, like, when people bother me and I'm not, like, bothering them, like, okay, so, yeah, like, I'm listening to loud music and, like, that could, like, bother somebody, like, oh, my God, this music is loud. Mind y'all, like I said, it was mid-loud, but it became loud when I start rapping it, and I guess that was the problem. When she said that, I kind of ignored it, and I, like, start putting my other food in the microwave or whatever, like, Try, kind of trying to hint that I'm not going to be here long like I'm trying to I'm trying to put this food back in you know and dip out wherever I go she says it again and I said I'm just listening in a calm voice I said I'm just listening to music and trying to cook my food I'm gonna be leaving soon and then she said can't you hear me that I'm on the phone can you turn your music off and mind you you're asking me to turn it off you're not asking me to turn it down you're not asking me to you know like hey like can you turn it down like you're demanding me to a grown ass woman to do something that she doesn't want to do because she was been been here like i'm not disturbing you i'm not invading your space and like you know terrorizing shit i'm literally just listening to music and cooking some food in the kitchen like in a space next to you but um and I'm like, I'm not, I'm repeating. I'm saying I'm not doing nothing to you. I'm just trying to cook my food and I'm, I'm finna leave. And she said, I don't give a fuck what you try to do. I don't know if y'all can hear 
kind of like based off how I was saying it, but she already was like rowdy, but now she was screaming and I was talking calm the whole time. Now she's getting rowdy or whatever. If she's talking about some, she gonna put her hands on me. She said, I'll come down, I'll come over there and turn that shit off my fucking self. Yada, yada, like, like getting high, getting mad that I'm not giving her the, not doing what she said, because I'm not, the situation we had when we were 16, I'm going to tell a story time about that. She always has that, like, bully energy, right? So that's how it felt again, basically. And I... She's still sitting down and she's talking shit like, I would come over there and turn it off for yourself or whatever. And I said, she said, I don't know what she said, but I was like, I don't give a fuck what you're trying to do. I'm going to leave soon. And as soon as I said, I don't give a fuck, she started getting up, taking off her glasses. Like she was finna punch me. She punched me in my face, y'all. She punched me in my face. And y'all know why, y'all want to know why I let her? And I literally, and y'all know how it just seemed like I seen her coming. I let her hit me because now it's self-defense. Now you put your hands on me and I didn't touch you. You came across the room to where I was to punch me in my face. This is what happened from her. And yeah, bitch still cute and it's already going away. Mind y'all, this just happened last night and it's already going away. Like a bitch skin is just magical and healing and you untouch untouchable like the kid really that bitch like and that's why y'all be mad. That's why y'all be mad and trying to beat my face up because it's oh cause it's so cute. I know I'm sorry. Sorry not sorry type of vibe. So <laughs> so boom. So she punched me in my face and um Okay, so like mid while we're arguing, E2 is hearing like what's going on. She's oh, that's what she had said. Um, E2, you better come get this girl so I put my hands on her. That's what she's screaming or whatever. And when she got up, I screamed to E2. I said, E2, she's trying to put her hands on me. Like, and as soon as she said that, E2 is coming down the hallway. She sees her punch me, and I grabbed her by her shirt and I'm I'm giving her them what them what she asked for. I'm giving her what she asked, and mind you, straight shots. And I seen knots like, like, and what about it? Broke my nails over it. Like, y'all, y'all see this? I did it myself. Y'all see this? And now, thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. After we was fighting or whatever, <laughs> y'all, she's fucking hilarious. This part is hilarious. But I'm just sitting there. Now, after I beat her up, well, I, let me not, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Let me, after I get my licks in, we just gonna call it that. After I get my licks in, after she got her one, her good one, I let her get her good one. I played it fair the whole way. Because I didn't... But I'ma be straight up, y'all. Straight up, straight tone, all that. I shouldn't have let her get me out of my character. Period. Point blank. I didn't have to put my hands on her. She didn't have to put. Well, she didn't have to put her hands on me, and I didn't have to put her, my hands on her back. And okay, it didn't have to get to the point of her putting her hands on me. I should have ignored it. But like I just said a few seconds ago, that bullying shit. Like I'm grown now. Like you're not just gonna do me in any kind of way after i get my licks in she's still <laughs> looking like a animal um she picked up it was this uh cheese puff bo bottle sitting in a chair she trying to throw it at me and she missed she pick up um the vase and e2 trying to like the E2 in the middle of us the whole time, and I'm just standing like in a corner watching her look crazy or whatever, like checking on my food or whatever. Like, I'm still gonna eat my food. Like, I'm swelling. Like, I still gotta eat. 
get out of here with him in a second. Picks up the vase, she's trying to hit me. She's like standing on the other side of me, trying to hit me. E2 grab out her hand, make her put it down, da da da. They go down the hallway. They end up down the hallway. She still talking shit. I'm still talking shit a little bit. And me, I'm more so like talking under my breath, but not talking under my breath. Like I'm more laughing and like, oh my God. Like, and E2 is standing in her doorway telling me to shut the fuck up. Like literally multiple times, multiple times, multiple times, multiple times. And I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to calm down. I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to calm down. And she said, well, you ain't trying hard enough. La, 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 la. Like now she turned that on me. Cause I just defended myself. Mm. So she's like, Yeah, you, you, look up, you. Uh, I said, I'm trying to, but I just, I'm trying to calm down, but I'm mad too. I'm mad too. And she gets to talk about, the, Well, this is my household. This is my household. And I said, I get that. And I'm not trying to do nothing, you know, to um deter that. I know that. I know that. Like now she's in my face. She didn't came up in my face now. She's in my face screaming and yelling and stuff. Like, like this this is my house this is my house and i i earn everything around here and i say okay that's cool that's fine that's fine and when i'm saying like that's fine now like i'm not giving her like we're now type arguing like we're now type arguing like literally it had nothing to do with nothing i feel like she started arguing with me on purpose so that it can lead how it led because it was literally no reason for us to be arguing i'm sorry y'all my phone got hot and shut off or whatever but um in the midst of this and she's telling me to shut the f up and coming towards my way i wasn't yelling when she was far away i'm just speaking loud but now that you're coming in my face now it's yelling because you're yelling type thing like that's that's basically how it went like you're provoking the argument type thing because i was like i'm saying from across the room i know i'm trying to calm down i'm trying to calm down but it's hard like she just punched me in my face and she's like you should never hear her. but she's basically telling me that i was uh, let me say you should never hear her back because she's elderly yada 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 she older than you mind you yes this is true but if that's the case at your age act er elderly mind y'all she looks young too so like look young act young like black don't crack because you're acting like a girl on the street like mind you i just told you she brought a few years ago like you're acting like uh like i'm just somebody on the street like like putting your hands on somebody is the answer to the problem you know what i mean like i'm going to defend myself period point blank nobody's gonna put their hands on me just no for no reason because because we're going because you're telling you're telling me what to do like make it make sense and y'all let me know if i'm wrong even though i don't give a fuck so yeah we're in each other's face now she's yelling and telling me to shut the f up again and that i'm rising the situation up and that i'm causing a disturbance i'm disrespectful um i should have never put my hands on her back i should have just let her punch me in my face bro if y'all think i'm lying i'm not because this specific family member is an in-law and she has a good relationship with her family or whatever so she could never understand how i feel about this family member like i don't look at them as family they've always treated me like a bum on the street like i just said so while she said this to me i said you're not my mom and i was saying it from a sense like you telling me to shut the fuck up the better be what to do yes i live in your household but it's like I didn't disrespect you. I never disrespected you personally in this situation. I defended myself that caused a ruckus. I'm sorry, but it wasn't on my like end. You know, I feel like like fault the disruptance was caused because I was I was trying to be there less to even cause less of a disruptance. In a few seconds that I am there, it blows the fuck up. literally wasn't even there a full 30 minutes y'all she said well since i'm not your mom you can get the fuck out you can get the fuck out and i just was like i'm just like this after she said that i'm just shaking my head like cool and i just got quiet after that and i left my food was done i put my stuff on the plate and i left and she was all on my face talking about something i'm gonna beat your ass like i said i'm not your mama i beat your ass you calling the disruptness at my house and being disrespectful and shit i beat your ass yada 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 i'm not your not almost at the family member but she basically like i'm not hurt i'm not her mind you 
I'm just, I didn't say shit after she told me I gotta get out, bro. Like, literally, literally, y'all, literally, y'all, like, trying to fight me now, like, trying to fight. Mind you, she's older than me, too. So, would I be wrong for fighting an elderly? She's not elderly. She's in her 30s, but... Why are you trying to fight me now after I just got punched in my face, defending myself, and you always acting like you fuck with me before this moment? I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, I do get it, but I left. I went to go DoorDash. I'm DoorDashing. Like, when I first started DoorDashing, I was crying still and stuff, but the more I was making money, the more I was getting over it. <laughs> Truly. So... Yeah, I just was making money, so I was just getting over. I was drinking, smoking, getting over it, chilling. Like, I go in, when I'm going through shit, I go in within self and figure it out or whatever. That's it, like exactly why the first move I made was to leave from there. When I left to rent out my room suite. Oh, what I missed. So that night when I took a shower there, E2 came in there while I was in the bathroom shower all smiling and stuff. And I it was a sinister grin. Like, if y'all ever had somebody look at y'all with a sinister grin, like, y'all know that feeling just make y'all skin crawl. Like, why are you looking at me like that? I'm like, what the fuck? And I was, like, getting undressed or whatever. And we, we family, so we hop in the shower, and she's like, you moving out? Like, kind of with a smile. Like, like it was weird. It was just a weird-ass face. She was like, you moving out? I seen, I seen you take all your, the, all, half of your stuff, half of your stuff is gone. And I was just like, no, I just not doing my clients here no more. I got a, I got a new location. I just said, kept saying I got a new location. She said, you're not moving out? You're not, like, she asked me like three times, like with this same look. I was like, no, I'm just, I just got a new location. Like she was asking me like she didn't understand me the first time. No, y'all, once I thought over this situation, she kept asking me, the same question but in a different way because she wanted me to say yes which i fucking should have i should have just left then but i don't know what's wrong with me i have spaghetti chinese japanese vitamin hawaiian it's hawaii but yeah so whatever i ignored that after or whatever I was done door dashing, I started heading that way. And I'm like, where the fuck am I going? That's, I don't stay there no more, bitch. So I came over to my other people's house and I um, sat out here and I fell asleep in my car. And it was semi-purposely, semi-not, just because I kind of wanted to just be in my own space. Like, literally be in my own space and figure out what's up with me and what happened in this situation and that's really what i've been doing ever since whatever so um yeah that whole situation led to me getting kicked out this is going to be the end of this part of the story time i'm going to tell y'all about what happened this morning or whatever with well what happened with this the rest of this situation um i hope you guys enjoy um leave me a like comment and subscribe and girl don't mind me don't mind me more story times more everything to come i just need to get everything together more consistent and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed bye Oh, y'all, missed the part. So, as I'm singing it, getting more hype to the song, because you know she be like, um, can't be fucked with on these niggas' fuck list. House ugly, put that gas on the yuck list. Hoes got hated. That's when that beast got the. <laughs> dog, I cracked myself up, dog. But yeah, y'all just tune the fuck in, man. Stay tuned. We in this thing, yeah.